Hey guys, welcome to the 10 things I love about my Supra. Uh, I did 10 things I hate about this car. Uh, if you haven't seen that, you can click right here. Tony did 10 things he loves and hates about his 240, but apparently he's just an ungrateful fuck because he just, apparently everyone only saw the 10 things he hates and not the 10 things he loves. So hopefully if you think I'm an ungrateful fuck, you don't think I'm an ungrateful fuck anymore because I actually do like some things about this car and I'm going to share them with you. Number one, is that it's not a 7M. That is my most favorite thing about this car. Now, although the 7M has the potential to make a lot of power, um, it's pretty damn unreliable, especially in OEM form. And I'm glad I got this car without even an engine in it. So I've never been plagued with anything 7M ever, and it's great. And you didn't have to rip blown 7M out of it. Yeah, I didn't have to deal with a blown 7M. I just had an open engine compartment that I put a new engine in and that leads me into number two is that I love the 1JZ in this thing now I know of the three popular engine choices with this car it's got the least amount of potential but I love it it's a lot more reliable than the 7M I think it sounds better um, obviously the 2JZ is probably better in every aspect but I love the 1JZ in this thing it makes good power and it sounds great too that's one of my favorite reasons for it That's one of my most favorite things about the 1J is how it sounds. Number three is the hydraulic handbrake that we put in it. If you can see. Okay. Um, it's a lot better than the factory parking brake. It makes it a lot of fun. Um, it draws a lot of attention for when, like when people get in the car and see it, they're like, whoa, what the hell is that? Um, and it, it's a cool feature that not many people have in their car. Number four is I actually like how ugly it is. <laughs> now, a lot of people hate these cars because they're so ugly. That's why they, they're actually coming back in popularity now, but for the longest time, they were pretty unknown or very unpopular because of how ugly they are inside and out. But I like how ugly it is. It gets a lot of attention. It turns a lot of heads. Um, it's ugly because it's just a Supra in general and they're ugly, but it's also got a lot of blemishes and it looks terrible. And I kind of like it. So a lot of people ask me, when are you going to paint it? When are you going to fix it? Blah, when are you going to do this? Blah, blah, blah. I'm not. I'm leaving it like this because I like the way it looks. And it's different. Uh, number five is the bash bar that I fabricated for it. Um, I think it looks pretty sweet. It was my first thing that I really fabricated by myself. And I remember the first time I took this out and drove it with the bash bar on. I don't know why, but this woman saw it and she was like scared. Like I was turning onto this road, she saw my car and like her eyes opened and she actually like yelled. Like I don't know if she thought I was from like Mad Max or something, but the attention that it gets is awesome. And I haven't used it yet, but uh... It should be pretty helpful if I actually drift this car, which who knows when that's going to happen. But Maybe spring. Maybe spring, but as of right now, <laughs> it's completely torn apart, and I'm having a lot of trouble getting it back together. <laughs> so who knows when it's even going to drive again. Um, but I love the bash bar. I think it's cool, and it's different. Uh, number six is the roll cage that Mark and I made. Um, it doesn't meet any regulations. It might not pass tech, but... I like it a lot because it's something that we built and I think it looks pretty sweet. Um, number seven, I love the way it drives. I used to daily this thing. Uh, if you guys remember back when I had a Subaru for a couple months, I actually 
parked the Sentra and the Subaru, and I drove this daily for about three months as the way it is. Um, I love the way it drives. I love the seat in it. It's really comfortable. Uh, it handles pretty good. It handled better than my Sentra. It was faster than my Sentra. Um, in every aspect, it was better driving than my Sentra. And it's a 1988 with really old suspension, and somehow it drove better. And I loved it. I love driving this thing. Um, number eight, which it has nothing to do with anything I've ever done to this car, but I actually love the fuel economy that it gets. I've never tried to improve it, but when I took this to Ocean City last year, 20 pounds of boost, stage two cams, I got 24 miles to the gallon out of it, which I think is pretty impressive for what it is. Um, it got the same fuel economy that my Subaru got. It gets... Did that include you hooning in it? I did hoot in it a little bit, yeah. And you got 24 overall? Yeah. It, it was like a, what's Ocean say, like 250 miles? No, it's 190 miles, three hours exact. Okay, so a 190 mile trip. There was a little bit of hooning in there. Um, and when I filled it up down in Ocean City, I got 24 to the gallon out of it, which I think is pretty damn awesome. And it was running rich. Uh, cruising, it was like between 13 and 14. So wasn't it 14.7 or leaner? It was kind of rich and it still got 24 to the gallon number nine i love the hid reverse lights i put in this thing i've got 40 percent window tint and at nighttime it's kind of hard to see out of it so i put hids in the reverse lights and it actually helps out a lot especially going down tony's driveway which is a treacherous mountain <laughs> like traverse path and it really helps out. Uh, like where we live, there's a lot of dark areas and sketchy roads and driveways, and the HIDs and the reverse lights really help out. Country living. What? Country living. Yeah. Number 10 is kind of the story behind it. I kind of saved this car, and that's where I got the name for it. I named this car Stacy, and I forget which language it's, it originated from, but Stacy means resurrection and I kind of resurrected this entire car when I bought it from the guy I bought it from he was about to scrap it uh, it was sitting for 12 years nothing in it next to a goat pen one lonely goat and he was about to scrap it and I bought it from him. I saved the car and the engine uh, came from Japan probably out of a junkyard so I kind of saved that engine too put two things together resurrected the car made it what it is and it's Stacy, it's Resurrection. So I kind of, I, I did save it because if I didn't buy that car, it, it wouldn't exist anymore. And a lot, of, a lot of the parts on this came out of junkyards or off of cars that were getting scrapped or junk. So the whole thing is kind of a Frankenstein Resurrection and I love it. Zombie yeah. Supra. It's a Zombie Supra. There's... Zumpra. <laughs> there's even a lot of parts on this car that are not off of Supras. <laughs> like, I've got some Ford and Chevy parts on here, and Nissan and Mercedes. Grand and National, Igniter, or whatever it is. Yeah, yeah. Monte Carlo. Monte Carlo. Mar Monte Carlo. So, it's definitely a one-off car. It's not attractive. It doesn't look good, which I love. It is unique, and it's mine, and it's got its own unique story, and that so the 10 things I love about this Super that doesn't drift or drive right now. Or do anything. It's, it just sits here. It's like a 240. It's like a 240. 